Today's paper is going to be a paper that was published in 2011 in the, in the journal Science. And they did a study about bonobos in Kenya. And they looked at alpha males, beta males. They looked at these behavioral, very complex structure in these societies over a span of nine years. And they ranked all of these bonobos according to who's alpha, who's beta, and so on. And there's many, many rankings. And what's really cool about this study is that they did more than 4,500 samples of fecal testosterone and fecal glucocorticoid, which is, you know, in this paper, you'll see, I'll, I'll, I might even show you the, the actual figure so you can learn from it. Uh, you'll see FT, that's fecal testosterone, and FGC, fecal glucos glucocorticoid. Glucocorticoid is a hormone that is released when someone is under stress. Okay, and testosterone is obviously, you know, if you follow my channel, uh, testosterone is for muscle mass, for libido, for drive, for energy, uh, and, and bedroom performance, you know, the, the list goes on. Hair health, like everything is related to testosterone, bone density, just like everything. Um, and so what they wanted to do was figure out, because previously there was these theories that, okay, if a society of bonobos, in this case it's bonobos in Kenya, or, or even other non-human primates like macaques, chimpanzees, gorillas, you name it. When they looked at that, there was always a difference in stress levels when this society was stable and unstable. Now this, it, this applies a lot today, right? Because in today's society, we have bonobos. They sleep with all the women. They, uh, they have all the money, they have all the power, and they make all the decisions. So today's society, because of COVID, corona, blah, blah, is not very stable, right? Economics are unstabilized, you know, volatility in the stock market. People don't know where to go. People are scared to talk to each other. People are scared to travel. It's a very, very scary society, the world we live in today. Uh, now, some people who are the alpha males, they make a lot of the decisions, you know, should you travel or not? Should the borders be closed or not? So this paper has a lot to do with especially what's happening today in the world. So, so really, really important to, to learn from this paper. So what did they do? They looked at 40 different rankings of, of these groups of bonobos, right? Because remember, these are in the wild. So they have these scientists that are following these bonobos for a span of nine years, and they're looking at different things. You know, when do challenges happen? When do hierarchies destabilize? You know, they, the, the, the alpha becomes beta, the beta becomes alpha. You know, when is there this thing called consortships where the alphas are hanging out, making sure the women who are fertile don't get fucked by other, other bonobos. You know, they're like guarding these women. Uh, there's grooming going on. So they're trying to see how testosterone and stress hormone relate to these characteristics behaviorally. Okay, so, so let's, let's see what they figured out. One thing that they figured out that they confirmed is that there's a monopoly of sexual encounters. In so so here, here's the specific detail. They found out that three of the bonobos out of all the males in this tribe of bonobos fucked 70% of the women. Right, and and so that's one thing that we found out, and that was something that has also been figured out before. So it was not a surprise. One other thing that they found out, which was actually contradictory to previous studies. Previous studies, what they had found is, when you look at this hierarchy, and you look at, uh, uh, let's say you look at uh, stress hormone, right? They found out that stress hormone varies from beta to alpha depending on whether the uh, uh, the actual tribe is stable or not. So when things destabilize, the, the the way the stress hormone interacts with the behavior of the monkeys change. But in this study, they found that whether it's stable society or unstable society, we get the same results. Now, what are these results? One thing they found, and I'm going to show you these figures as well, is that as you move across rank, so you go more and more alpha, testosterone increases linearly, right? They measured it, it's fecal testosterone, FT, and the glucocorticoid is, is FGC. So they're measuring these stress hormones by taking fecal samples, the shit of these bonobos, and measuring them that way. 
and they did more than 4,500 samples. It's a fantastic study. That's why it's published in science. So that's not a surprise, right? As you get higher and higher in ranking, your testosterone is linearly increasing. Now, the surprising finding from this paper that, that is why they published in science in such a good paper is that when you look at glucocorticoid stress levels, as you move higher and higher in ranking, so more and more alpha, the stress hormone levels actually decreases linearly. Okay, so this is actually, we've known this in the past, right? So you can imagine as in society, the people at the very low end of the society, the people who don't have the power, the people who are very poor, the third world countries, people who don't have food or water, they are the most stressed. And the people who have the power, who can make the decisions, who have the women and the money and whatnot, are the least stressed. But in this study, what they found out is, so imagine this is, is this axis is rank. So as you move across, it's higher and higher rank. And this axis is stress level, right? So as you move higher and higher in, in, in uh, a ranking, the stress goes down. But at the very end, the top, top, top alpha males, the stress goes up again. So this study found that the people at the top, the CEOs, of the, these bonobos you can imagine, or the ones with the power, the Dan Bilzerians, the Jeff Bezos, the Hugh Hefners out there. Or you know, in the past, the Genghis Khan, the Alexander the Greats. Those guys have similar stress levels in glucocorticoid to the beta males at the bottom of society and even the omega males that are even lower than the beta males. Okay, now this is the cool finding. This is a surprising finding. Now what they, they, they speculated like, is it the same type of stress, right? Because just because you have glucocorticoid levels high, that doesn't mean that the type of stress is the same. So they tried to go deeper into this. You know, they tried to see what was changing. Why was it happening this way? What were the behavioral changes between the alphas and the betas that could have contributed to this high level of stress? So they found two things that varied and, and the other two things that didn't vary. So what didn't vary? When they looked at grooming, it is basically, you know, when like, you know, you see these, these monkeys, they're like picking each other's hair and picking the lice and they're like uh, combing the hair. It's like grooming, like what humans do, right? They're like, you're like cleaning the monkey up and women usually do that in, in Bonobo society as well. Um, so they found that grooming was equivalent. Doesn't matter if you're alpha, beta, gamma, doesn't matter, or gamma, omega, doesn't matter. However, okay, so grooming was the same. Another thing that was the same is challenges. So challenges are basically when two, two Bonobos challenge each other for ranking. That also didn't change in this study. The two things that changed between the people at the top and the people at the bottom were consortships. Consortships are basically when an alpha male guards a bunch of fertile women so other bonobos can't have sex with her or, or can't have sex with all these women, right? It's like their harem and they're guarding the harem. So that's one. And another one is agonistic behavior where the bonobo challenges the other um, uh, abominable males to fights, right? Agonistic behavior, aggressive behavior. These two were the differences between uh, the alphas and, and the ones lower than that. So the hypothesis is this. Even though the top alpha males have the highest level, or, or not the highest, but they have equivalent level of stress as the ones low, low, at the low end of the society, the reason they're stressed is different. Alpha males are stressed because someone's going to take their women. So, you know, they, they eat less because they're guarding the women. They're trying to keep the women safe. So they, they, they have less time to eat, less time to forage and actually get the food, hunt for food. And the other one is for the agonistic behavior, the fighting. So they, they, because of that, they are stressed. The people at the very bottom are stressed because they are, they're literally, like, they, they literally don't have food. They're literally scared that someone's going to beat them up, right? So, so, so it's a different type of stress with the ones that are at the very top of the society versus the ones that, that, are, that are at the very bottom.
and obviously this relates to CEOs. Uh, one of the other papers that I'm going to reference in the description below, it's called Sympathy for the CEO. You know, it's a kind of like sarca sarcastic, like, oh my God, you know, look at this poor CEO uh, of, of this billionaire company, you know, this billionaire that, oh, he, he has to really, really, you know, uh, uh, be scared, uh, you know, when he's in his yacht and, and oh my God, is someone going to take, you know, one of my thousand women, you know, like, like that kind of, it was a kind of like funny paper. Go, go read these papers that they're dope papers and I'll show you the description. I'll show you the figures so you get an idea. You basically, what you'll see in the figures is that you'll see this linear thing, and then you'll see this peak, this spike, when it's like it gets to the very, very high rankings of the alpha male. You'll see that in the, the FGC, the glucocorticoid levels. But in testosterone, you'll just see this linear thing. As you become more and more alpha, your testosterone goes up linearly. Uh, yeah, there was, there, yeah, there, if, if there's anything else, I'll write it in the description below if I forgot something, um, or, or you can put it in the comments and, and I'll answer it in the comments. There was one other thing that they found. It, it was about linear, uh, it was about the stability and, 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 oh yeah, they found that challenges. So they found from this paper that alpha males are not so scared or, or, or the, the stress level is not from changing of ranking. So when an alpha becomes a beta, uh, uh, or vice versa, you know, like alpha changes its rank, the change is not necessarily the reason he's stressed. He's stressed because of the anticipation of what if the change happens. So the fear of losing your ranking or your billionaire status in, in our in our. Uh, uh, society, like in our uh, human society, that fear of losing your power and your decision making and your girls and, and like that fear of losing the alphaness is the cause of fear, not necessarily you when you actually lose the alpha male status. So anyway, that's this cool, cool, shocking truth about alpha males. Comment below and let me know who is your ideal alpha male in today's society. If you think of the world today, who is the one person who is the alpha male? I want to know that answer and any other questions you have, comment below and I'll try to get them in future videos. Uh, stay safe, guys. Uh, stay humble and uh, keep discovering your inner selves. Uh, get in touch with your family. Love your family. Love your friends. Call them. Talk to them. Learn new things. Uh, do artwork, do things that you've always wanted to do that uh, you were afraid to do or didn't have time to do. This is the time, uh, you know, instead of wasting time watching the news or being scared, do cool shit and uh, get ready for when we are again able to travel, able to quarantine uh, and, and be, you know, sort of free again in our, in our physical life. All right, guys, take it easy. This is Dr. Han. I'll see you next time. Keep rocking it.